also we're about to do another episode of Henry Outdoors. Today we are gonna get uh, my Red Real Arsenal updated, and we are gonna get my um, soft plastics and crank bits out. I'm gonna show you why I have them and why I use them. As you can see, snowing, so we're gonna be in the garage. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you back in one second. Alrighty, folks, welcome back. I'm just gonna adjust this camera real quick. So cold, you can see my breath right here. All right, so we got my rods right here. Soft plastics are still in the bag. I'm gonna do that on the car hood just so y'all can see them better. But I'm gonna get my rod out. First up, we have my 6'6", medium, heavy, Cabela's Pro Guide IGM rod, paired with an Abu Garcia five to one ball bearing. A uh, good flipping stick, good uh, frog stick. It's really fun. I just got a little, ooh. Hello. Oh my, oh boy, technical difficulties. I just got a little uh, spinner bait, crawl, crawler. So that's that. Um, next, I have my, I want to say, 6 2 medium uh, rod with the same reel on it. I have a black and chartreuse. Ow. Oh, crankbait. Got one of them. I love them so much. Um, I just ordered a couple more off of Carl's uh, bait and tackle. Not paid promotion. I will put that in the description if you guys want to go check them out. Um, yeah, so that's that rod. And last but not least, we have the good old speed stick from Walmart. <laughs> and I just got a little green pumpkin Sanko on there. Real basic, real simple. I don't use this rod a lot, so that is why. All right. Uh, yeah. So um, I'm going to warm my hands up. I'm going to get my soft plastic out, either put them on the table right there or put them on the car hood, and we'll get back right back. Alrighty, so I just decided that I'll just grab them out of my bag and adjust the camera again because I put it too far tilted. Alright, we're going to get on it right now. Uh, my hands are cold, so we're going to try and get through this fast but quality. Uh, first, I got by my... I almost broke it. Uh, crank bake box. I got some hooks in there too. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I got a craw lipless crank, a Croyden Rail vintage crank bit, and a little sexy shad colored crank bit. That's with that. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna take a talk quick a minute about my Instagram. Please go follow it. It will be in the description below. It is Henry Outdoors. It would, 22. It will do me a huge favor um, to getting up to close to 1,000. And I want to get close to 100 by the end of the month. So if you see this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and like hit the sm smash the like button. Alrighty. Uh, yes. First, we're going to start with the Guggen Baits. Love these guys on the YouTube channel. It is amazing. I have the little 4-inch drag and drop. Put it in the wrong way after I took it out. Uh, it's a finesse worm, pretty much. I like it a lot. Um, haven't got a chance to use it, but it just looks so amazing. These are the Crack and Crawl Guggen Baits. Uh, where does it say it? Oh, okay, so Guggen Baits Crack and Crawl right there. Uh, good flipping pitch going to spawn. Flipping pitch whenever. Uh, God, guys, I have so many in here. Okay. Seikos. Worms. These are really fun. Uh, really work really well on my lake. You'll guys see it this summer. Lots of fishing videos coming soon. After school. June 6th. School's out video. June 7th. Fishing. Smaller Senkos. 
green pumpkin, I think. Doesn't want to say. High tech mini worms, mini, mini shad, swim impact 3.5 in Japanese. They bite creature baits in same color as all of them. So green pumpkin with a little bit of sparkles. Assortment of beaver baits and yum diggers. Yes. Yum diggers are the digger. Okay. More beaver baits, black and blue. Throw in that water. Looks like diarrhea. Power bait worms, uh, four inch, one knot hook. Use what you use for them. That's pretty much it. They're really good. Just pop them off the bottom and reel them all in. You catch them. Uh, these are the only ones I kind of got concerned about here when I bought them. These are uh, the uh, big bite baits. Something. They look like Senkos. Here, I'll take one out. It's heavy. heavy. There you go. Here, I'll show you what I mean about Can I get one out? They look like Sam Senkos with a whiskey tail. Or they look like a Mondo worm. The Yugen baits are smaller, to be honest. Flukes. And some more of those ones. That's all I got here. I think that's all I got in my, uh, my soft plastics. So, if you like this video, make sure to go hit the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, and be aware. Sorry, folks, you got cut off there. Uh, be aware for new videos uh, coming soon, and uh, that's all I got for you. So, I will see you guys later.